The mosquito, one of the most hated animals on the planet. Mosquitoes are flies and actually feed mostly on plants. However, in many species, the females have become vampiric ectoparasites, using nutrients in the blood to allow them to produce eggs. In a positive feedback loop, the more blood they suck from us, the more eggs they produce, and so more mosquitoes suck our blood. And we cannot stand their irritating, itchy, and potentially dangerous bites. These tiny insects kill more people each year than any other group of animals by transmitting a host of viruses in their saliva. This saliva contains anticoagulants which help the mosquito suck up your blood. The resulting itchy bump, called a wheel, is caused by histamines dispatched as an immune response to get rid of the anticoagulants. Over the many thousands of years we have dealt with mosquitoes, people have figured out ways to avoid these bites, from mosquito nets to all-out warfare against them. But today, most people are familiar with insect repellent, the most well-known being diethyltoluamide, or DEET. The long-standing hypothesis on how it prevented mosquito bites was it interfered with how mosquitoes find victims. Mosquitoes effectively smell out their quarry, able to detect your CO2 and lactic acid emissions from around 100 feet. They, of course, can also see movement, and when really close, they can detect heat, all guiding them to a target. DEET was thought to bind to the mosquito's olfactory receptors and make you chemically camouflage from the mosquito. However, more studies have found that DEET is actually something mosquitoes don't like the smell of, and one study found they can learn to overcome this aversion after being exposed to it. Other repellents are less studied. Icaridin, also known as picaridin, seems to bind to the same place as DEET, but also has another binding site. Besides these man-made chemicals, a few natural oils seem to have mosquito-repelling properties. Lemon eucalyptus oil has a compound named methylglycol. It is often referred to PMD on repellent packages, which works as an insect repellent and is in fact the only natural compound the CDC recommends. I have been unable to unearth any information on how exactly it works biochemically, only that it does. I hope you find this video informative on mosquito biology and helps you enjoy your expeditions, whether traipsing through the rainforest or exploring your backyard, without the constant irritation of mosquitoes.